Question I get a lot is, can you shoot with iPhone cinematic mode and an anamorphic? Let's find out. Well, to answer that question, can you shoot cinematic mode with an anamorphic? Yeah, you can, and it looks pretty darn good. I shot using the 14 Pro Max and the Beast Grip 1.33 times anamorphic and the Beast Cage. I also used a 67 millimeter mount Moment V and D filter, and it was all handheld too. So I did add a little bit of stabilization in post. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it, but there are a few issues you need to know about. First, and probably the one I had to get used to the most, is the minimum focus distance is pretty far away, especially for a phone. It's actually more like an anamorphic on a traditional camera. It's over a foot, probably more like 18 inches. So anything closer to the lens than that will not be sharp or in focus. Next, since we're shooting with the native camera app, you can't preview the footage widescreen. It looks stretched while shooting, and so that's a little bit odd when framing shots, but it is manageable. Then you have to de-squeeze the footage in post-production. Now, third-party apps will preview and de-squeeze it for you within the app, within the camera if you like, which is often better. But then you can't shoot in cinematic mode. Another thing is, cinematic mode does seem to search for focus more using the anamorphic, and sometimes you get odd shallow depth of field, almost like you put Vaseline on the lens or you're using a tilt shift. Of course, you can always edit the size of the fake aperture and depth of field afterwards or even turn it off. However, I think it's a cool look, especially for more experimental stuff or maybe an artsy vibe. And it mainly only happens in more complex shots, which happens with cinematic mode all the time anyway. Then finally, a huge issue, and this has nothing to do with the anamorphic. Using cinematic mode, you currently can't lock the exposure or white balance. So if you pan or tilt around, or even just put your hand in the shot, the white balance changes and it just destroys the look. That's actually why I turned this footage black and white. So until Apple fixes this, it's hard to use cinematic mode effectively in many shooting situations. But the negatives aside, I still think it's cool and will absolutely use it. It's crazy to think we can get this kind of look out of an iPhone.